What up guys? So it's been, uh, it's day two, morning two, of playing uh, Forza Motorsport. I was up till about 2 a.m. last night. Um, today, we're gonna get into some multiplayer racing. So without further ado, let's get this going. We get Nvidia, pop open Forza. Okay, what is this, qualifier series? Uh, 17 minutes, entry ends in 17 minutes. All right, so we're gonna join this event. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna do some cuts so you guys don't have to watch me practice for 17 minutes. Um, but I'll show you a few laps, we'll get into the race, and I'll show you how Forza works online. So while it loads, the way it works is you can't just, as far as I know, maybe some options, maybe you can just hop right in, but I, for what it seems like most of, if not all the races, start at a specific time in the future, right? So you can't just hop right in, and I could be wrong, but that's most of the, of the good races at least. Um, you choose a race that maybe starts in five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. They all show the time they start. And what you do, as you can see on the top right of the screen, 21 minutes and 45 seconds, you practice um, for that time and you have to qualify whenever you're ready to qualify. Um, that gives you your starting position. So it kind of it kind of makes the races more important because you're not just you're not just hopping in to hop out, right? You can't just hop in. If you invest the time, you don't want to, um, you're not gonna just lose the race and leave or be in last position and leave because you invested your time into it. So it makes all, it makes every single race that everyone does. What a I think I, yeah, I think I go reset. Shameful rammers. I guess I did load in and I was kind of in his car, which they should just, there should be, it should be coded in the game where if you join a race, you know, it's going to just delay your spawn by a few seconds if there's a car in a section of the track. But again, I'm not the developer. It's not my worries. Um, would it be nice? Yeah, because that would have probably avoided all that. All right, so during practice, we're just trying to uh, A, learn the track, B, see how other racers are driving, their lines, all that good stuff. Really just trying to memorize the track, uh, breaking points, uh, throttle in, tip in points, and it went okay. You know, started feeling the track. There was a turn at the very end where it's like a, you make a right and then a left around a bend. It got me pretty much the entire practice qualifying and most of the race, uh, but nonetheless had a few good turns on that, made some decent times, and we continued to qualify. It's got a very fast entry here. So here's me flying through qualifying lap one because it was not the fastest. You would... All over the place here. All right, not the best turn. Let's see. Nice and smooth. All right, let's see what we get. It's probably gonna be a 108 something. And the same with lap three. Lap two was the best. Oh, there we go. It's the end. All right, race time. Here we go. Let's do our tire and fuel levels once this loads. This is a seven lap race. So we're gonna go on the upper end of seven laps. There's like two ticks per, see six laps, six laps if I go over. 
Seven laps, seven laps, eight. We're gonna go right to seven, right on that line. I'm gonna stick with the medium tires. Maybe soft to work. You know what? We're gonna go with soft tires. It's only seven. And if you look, let me see. It might be too late. I think we're going with soft tires. First time driving on softs. They just kind of sketch me out. Uh, a lot of people are on mediums. Some are on softs. Okay, so we'll see here. This guy only has four laps of fuel, so he's um, he's not gonna. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna change it now. Seven laps. I don't. You know what? I'm going. I'm. You know what? I'm going to mediums. I'm going to mediums. Seven lap mediums. Soft. I just feel like they're not gonna last toward that last lap. They might. I just don't know. I mean, the leader. Yeah, this level 22 is medium, 16 is medium, 26 is medium. Everyone's running that medium. I do have seven. Maybe I'll go to eight just to have that extra little bit. Let's do, yeah, a one, one or two more percent. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Race time. Perfect, that was very fast. All right, so during that qualifying, uh, we managed to place a mighty P6, position six on the grid. Uh, we were about two seconds slower from the fastest driver, and I think around a second slower from the second fastest driver. Nonetheless, we pushed forward, so here's the race. There's a lot of slip streams here. See if we can get this guy, get stay in a slipstream, I hope. Race face on, baby. I take the inside line here. A little too fast. That's my mistake. Nice battle. Nice battle. That always gets me that turn. All right, all right. My mistake at that last turn, which not surprised it happened. Okay, we're gonna keep fighting. We wanna win this race. A nice outside line, carry that speed. Get in the slipstream. I don't know. I think we are. I'm not sure. 
feels like we are. That turn keeps getting me. Alright, we got this last little bit here. Such a long turn. Very long turn. All right, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer on that turn before I get on the throttle, and uh, we should have a nice, nice time through that. Will I get a penalty for that? Am I might. Nope. Good. Alright, we gotta catch this guy, man. Come on. Zooming. This guy is just leaving. Maybe he's on softs. I don't think he was, but maybe. He's out. This guy's out. He's feeling it. Beautiful turn. Good, good, good. Let's go. Four point four seconds ahead, this guy in front of me. Very good racer. I wonder what he's done to his car. it. Last lap. I think he's on softs because I'm catching up. I just, I just shaved 0.5 seconds off. I don't know if I'm going to close the gap entirely, but let's see. Every turn is going to add up if I can do it right.
I think he got it. He got his boys. But we are in second. We did start closing the gap at the end. Not a bad race. Not a bad race. Best lap. Yeah. Yeah. 106 he got. I got 107.2. We got 106.7. Yes. Very fast driver. Wow. So did sixth place. Look at sixth place. 106. Sixth place actually had the fastest lap in the entire race. Interesting. He just couldn't fight couldn't fight back. That's how hard it is. If you can't qualify or you can't get in front of the pack in the beginning of the race, um, you have your work cut out for you. Because if nobody else makes a mistake in front of you, you know, unless you're godly, you're not you're not catching them. Uh, does it show penalties? Oh, it does. Penalties. All right. Yeah, he didn't even have penalties. That guy. That guy is very fast. So here we go. Let's see the podium. Third place, which he wasn't even really part of the fight there. Neither was I to Crackpot. Crackpot Jr., props, man. Good raisin. Or girl, whoever you are. Awesome. See, and as you guys can see, level up the car. We earn credits. I'm already up to like 300 something thousand credits. So we got a turbo, weight reduction, beautiful. 35,000 credits. Awesome. Continue. Continue. Yeah, so I mean, my uh, my reaction or my review, it's awesome. It's great. You know, I haven't even dialed in my joystick settings, my controller settings. Um, I'm just using stock settings. I did spend about a good 30 minutes to 45 minutes uh, last night dialing in the video settings, right? Because um, there's a lot of settings that can make the game look terrible uh, and it doesn't really show you that. There is a benchmark you can run. So while you adjust settings, you can literally go right into a benchmark. It drives for about 20 seconds. It shows you what you get. So I was able to get my FPS as high as it can go, which is around a 75 FPS mark. Um, but that's fine. The game also looks very, very crisp. There was a setting I turned off or on. Only gave me 80 FPS, but my game looked like a PS2 game. So very happy with this. That's an awesome experience. Um, if you guys are interested in racing and don't have a PS5, or even if you do, and you want that, 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 to me, more realistic, more fun physics model, better sounds, um, you know, different, different experience than Gran Turismo, or if you don't have a PS5 or PS4 and there's no Gran Turismo's for you, uh, get it, play this game. I mean, a set of course is great, but you know, this game, it's, it's, it's all, it's all there, right? Uh, if you have a cockpit and you're sim racing, I heard the wheels work amazing as well. You do have to tinker with it, but by now there's tons of settings online about it. Um, try it out, get this game, play this game. It's very fun. Uh, no, this isn't sponsored, but I can tell you that I am going to be addicted to this um, for the foreseeable future. So if you guys want to race, let me know. I think there's custom races we can do too. Um, so you could race with your friends and set up races and, and, and all that cool stuff. So without... Uh, further ado, um, I'm signing off. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.